April is National Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and Central Michigan University is not shying away from this topic. Joining me now is Director Megan Verner to talk about a recent milestone for CMU's Sexual Aggression Peer Advocates Program. Hi, Megan. Hello. I just want to first congratulate you all on 25 years of this program. How are you all marking the anniversary? Yes, so we've actually been celebrating all year long because why not why not celebrate for a full year but um, <laughs> recently on campus we held a walk through history exhibit where we were able to kind of invite the whole community um, to come and walk through our history with us and kind of see our milestones and how our program has developed and um, a lot of our original supporters were able to join us as well which was really special. Tell us exactly how the program uh, operates. It's, it's definitely fueled by peer-to-peer -peer relationships, would you say? Yes, yes. So our peer-to-peer our -peer is really our, our most special aspect. Um, I'm very fond of saying our magic is found within our students. And, you know, I think when our founder, Steve Thompson, started the program, there was a recognition that not everyone wants to talk to a professional when they're first starting to sort out what do I do? What are my options? How do I get some support? Um, so for us, we run 24 seven um, confidential services during the fall and spring semester. Um, and both the text line and the crisis line are answered by, um, by those peers, by those CMU students. So you know you're talking to someone who kind of is, is going through the same you know, student day-to-day -day operations that you are. Yeah, and, and in some of those cases have those people who are also talking to them experienced sexual violence as well. You know, so it is a possibility that some of our advocates have their own experiences, but I think the bigger thing is they all care. They all just want to be there and they, they recognize that this is a prevalent issue and they want to be involved and support other people on their campus. Yeah, let's get a little bit more into that. Exactly how prevalent is it uh, in today's society? I mean, you can be as specific as you want with respect to CMU, but also college campuses uh, everywhere. Sure. So, you know, according to Rain, every 68 seconds an, an American experiences sexual assault um, and, and the highest rate of victimization is, is 18 to 24 year olds. Now, I know on a college campus there might be folks outside of those range, that age range, but when you put it together, you know, that kind of makes a college area a really important place to talk about um, sexual assault and these issues. Um, and for us, you know, we, we average about six contacts a week. So um, we're, we're speaking with folks and making sure that they have resources and support. Um, and we're very privileged to have that opportunity on CMU's campus and to be supported by our administration. In April being such a big awareness month for this issue, uh, just how can people get in touch with you and how are you all gonna continue to advocate throughout the month? Mm, yes, so we have lots of uh, events going on. We're all celebrating um, next week with National um, Denim Day. On Wednesday, um, we'll participate with the rest of the world on that one. Um, but when folks are trying to reach us, um, there's a lot of information on our on our website, um, which is sapa.cmich.edu, and then our crisis lines are both listed on there for those 24-7 hotline and text line numbers. Okay. Megan, anything else you want to add for our viewers? No, I don't think so. I think, you know, we're very honored to still be um, moving forward and looking forward to a bright future. All right. We'll keep up the good work. And thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. And if you have any ideas about the 4 o'clock news and what you'd like to see, just email us at WNEM at WNEM.com. The subject 4 p.m. news spotlight.